So, I recently finished my Fire Anthem 7 Lin Hardvold Minimum Rank Challenge with a total of 11 Tactician Points out of a possible 60 and a 1 star in every rank. While this is the absolute lowest I know of that has been accomplished and recorded, because I'm the only one who's ever done it, I know for a fact that it's technically possible to push it even lower. The crux of the difference will probably be right in the prologue, where it is technically possible to get Lin to level 20. If you get Lin to max level early on, she will no longer gain experience and allow you to achieve a very low experience rank in every chapter hereafter. When Lin joins at level 1, she and the boss can hypothetically both miss during combat. In Fire Emblem 7, if you participate in a combat and you do not hit your opponent, you gain 1 XP. So, hypothetically, if Bata and Lin continually miss one another, then you can gain an infinite source of XP. Lin is unable to miss against the first bandit, so she will gain at most 40 XP from the combat. So from there on until the level cap of 20, you will require 1860 XP to reach a level cap. If Lin hits Bata with her Iron Sword, she'll gain around 10 XP per combat, and she can do this around 45 times as her Iron Sword only has 46 uses. If the Iron Sword breaks, Lin will be unable to remove Bata from the seize point and the game will be softlocked. Similarly, if the boss hits Lin too often, she will simply die because of a lack of healing resources. So you can see why it is necessary for both of the characters to constantly miss one another. So let's be extremely generous and say that you gained 450 XP from this. So in this case, you will only need to have a double miss between Lin and Bata 1410 times in a row. Note that you cannot unequip Lin's weapon, as that is impossible in Fire Emblem 7 while still having the weapon in your inventory. You can only discard it, and if you do that, you will softlock the game, as then you cannot defeat the boss and cease to end the map. When a combat occurs, Bada will attack once and Lin will attack twice. Let's look at their accuracy. Bada starts with a hit of 40 and Lin a hit of 93 at their base stats. Going by true hit, this means that Bada will have a 32.4% chance of hitting well, Lin has a 99.09% chance of hitting, which, uh, oh no. So the odds of Bata missing once and Lin missing twice is, uh, 0.00004435236. And optimistically, this occurs 1,410 times in a row. So the odds of this are 0.00004435236. Zero, zero, four, four, three, five, two, three, six, to the 1410th power, which is roughly uh, 1.42 times 10 to a negative 6138 power. The odds of this happening are so low that literally anything that has ever happened to a human being would probably be more likely. However, it is possible to do this more deterministically. The RNG system in Fire Anthem 7 operates on a RN list, which is a sequential list of predetermined random numbers, meaning that you can hypothetically use RNG abuse to guarantee this outcome every time. Let's be generous and give you a Lua script or a hacked ROM that lets you view this RNG list in real time. And even then, this is horrendously impractical. Every time this combat occurs, you'll burn 9 RNs, 2 to calculate the true hit of each attack, and 1 to calculate the crit chance. You can RNG boost by wiggling the cursor to burn a random number to determine the direction that your movement arrow points. But you can only burn these at a rate of 1 each. So if you want to reset your entire RN list for the combat, you'll need to burn 9 RNs. But again, let's be extremely generous. Let's say every time you reset your RNs, you reset the entire list. But even then, the number of times you'll need to reset your RN list to get one that's suitable will be roughly 1 over the probability of its occurrence meaning that you'll need 1 over 0.00004435236, which is roughly uh, 22,546 random numbers. Once again, this is, it, this is a lower limit and extremely generous estimate. Also, keep in mind, you need to rig Lin's level ups to miss skill and speed so she does not level up and gain more hit, making it harder for her to miss. Lin's skill growth is 60 and her luck growth is 55, so the odds of missing both of these is 0.4 times 0.45, which is roughly 0.225. So on a combat where you level up, you will need to reset your entire RN list 
around 88,000 times or so. And you'll need to do this uh, 19 times. Technically speaking, if you gain some speed or other stats to increase your avoid, Bada's hit rate will be reduced. But uh, let's just ignore that. That's too complicated. I'll just pretend it's not going to happen. So doing all the math, you'll need to burn anywhere from 32.49 billion random numbers to 292.45 billion random numbers in order to rig all of this completely deterministically. Again, this is still an extremely optimistic estimate. So let's say you're a pro, you can burn one RN every second while still accurately assessing the list. You'll need to spend around, uh, on the lower end, 32.49 billion seconds, which is around uh, 1,030 calendar years. And uh, okay, so I think you guys can understand why uh, I didn't I didn't do this. So given all this effort, what do you actually save in the process? How many tactician points do you not gain as a result of this stratagem? I've done the math, and the result of all of this effort, the entire effort of your human life will uh, result in the savings of uh, one detection point. Yes, you heard me, not even two, just just one. In the prologue in my run, I gained two tactician points, and in the, with this strategy, you'll gain the same number. In chapter one, I gained one tactician point, killing Kent and Sane, but with this strategy, you can gain one star even without killing Kent or Sane. So that's technically a bonus, but not a point reduction. However, in chapter two, by not gaining the XP rank, it is possible to only gain one star as opposed to the two that I obtained, which is a one tactician point reduction. However, the fun ends there. I grinded Lin to level 20 in chapter 2 as opposed to the prologue, so everything after that is pretty much the same. The only difference is that you have Kent and Sane alive. However, if you only have two characters, there's no way to allocate your deaths that actually results in a tactician point loss. So meaning that, from what I can see, the absolute minimum score of Fire Emblem 7 Lin Hard Mode is 10 Tactician Points out of 60, as opposed to 11, which is what I obtained in my run. So in other words, I do believe I have achieved the lowest possible reasonable score in FE7 Lin Mode, accomplishable by a human without scripts or hacking in the game or the ability to manipulate probability or having 30 generations of your descendants spending their entire natural lifespans to jiggle a cursor around to burn our ends. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in my score. I dare anyone to beat it. Anyway, thanks for watching. This one ended up being a bit longer than I thought it would be. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more meaningless analysis along these lines. And if you haven't already, please watch the whole Fire Emblem 7 Lin Mode Minimum Rank series. Link is in the description. Thank you. See you next one.